For more on this, I've been speaking with Makran Rabba, a history lecturer at the American University of Beirut. With ceasefire attempts that have come and gone over the years, I asked him what's different about this one. I wouldn't even call it a ceasefire, but rather a brief security arrangement. However, given the details of what was announced and what was not announced, which is basically the side deal which the Americans and the Israelis have concluded, indicates that Israel's free hand over Lebanon and uh, the fact that they can hit at will when they feel threatened uh, gives us a clear idea that the war isn't over. The war has shifted to a new phase, a phase which is more destructive. And to be really, uh, really clear, this is a phase that would include more civilian casualties rather than just Hezbollah combatants or members of the Israeli army. If we look at the regional picture, Makram, the much bigger conflict, of course, is happening in Gaza. How do you think this deal might impact those hostilities? Well, I think one of the major achievements, and here I'm using achievements very lightly of Israel, that they've been able to... Uh, to disconnect Gaza from Lebanon. And this is a clear message that Iran has simply decided uh, uh, to stay out of this fight, but not in a positive manner, because at the end of the day, they will be waiting for the right moment to re-enter uh, this conflict. And I think that the way and the structure of Hamas at the moment and the total destruction of their leadership in Gaza renders any chance of a real a uh, real compromise or a real political deal. Because at the end of the day, people like Netanyahu have always been approaching all of these problems as, as, a, as, a, as a military one. Makram, of course, it's the civilians who bear the brunt of these sorts of conflicts. What's the reaction been there from everyday Lebanese people to this? Everyone is joyful. Everyone is, are happy that, especially those in the diaspora, that they're going home for Christmas. And many of the people who have been displaced and are now living in, 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 uh, in refugee centers are actually happy that they will be going home. But once this nightmare actually ends and they wake up to the reality that the nightmare is ongoing by the fact that there's no real friends of Lebanon at the moment who are willing to bankroll reconstruction. The day after, in this sense, uh, has, we haven't yet reached the day after scenario because the war hasn't been concluded yet. Makran Rubber, thank you so much for your insights. Thank you for having me.